I have on the phone, I have um, Eddie Akuno who designed the entire compound and God bless him, he put these massive canopies in place that the mobile units uh, lived underneath of uh, the Game Creek and NEP mobile units um, and enabled us to actually make it through, um, you know, um, 88 days on site in Orlando in the middle of the summer. Um, and then um, I, I kind of, I, my group was given the assignment, it was a mutual assignment that, you know, Eddie and Chris and I planned to run the IBC and all the robotics back in the house. So, um, so we, we brought in a large um, Everett's router, cross-connected it with our router in Secaucus and operated virtually uh, from down there under the direction of uh, Dave Barry. And then we kind of lashed together uh, Zoom and, and kind of stood up all of our PR people to really understand Zoom, how to operate Zoom and how to make it relevant for broadcasters as well. But I, I thought maybe Chris Brown, I, I think, and you know, for all three, it really, a lot of the innovations in Orlando, we had kind of hatched together at the summer league. So I, I thought that would be something that we should, uh, that we should speak about here at the top. I mean, yeah, I think, you know, from, uh, I mean, summer league is just a, it's a, it's, it's a constant evolution. And, and for the most part, it's been a bit of a playground, I think for all of us. And, and it was kind of interesting seeing how uh, we were able to take, you know, lessons learned at summer league. You know, I, I think one of the interesting things was that those lessons that we learned at summer league meant that when we got to the bubble, things like, um, you know, the different robotic cameras, things like, um, uh, uh, I mean, even, you know, things like the rail cam and these types of things weren't the first time the competition committee, uh, competition groups had, had actually seen these things. Uh, and so there was already some familiarity around it, uh, that between things like that, things like virtual signage. Um, it, it just, it, it wasn't all new. And so it was almost a, 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 like a great opportunity to take an extension of summer league and then push it out and be able to, to use it in what I would call real world application. Um, and, and as we did these things, you know, within the summer league, it, even at that point, it was still a highly collaborative operation, just putting that together. So it, 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 it really was almost like a natural extension. Great. And of course, the, the very interesting thing about this was that the networks were, um, you know, ESPN and Turner were both were producing for the regional sport networks, as well as our, you know, international group. And, um, and to see um, Tim Corrigan, to see you guys jump into that service uh, modality uh, was uh, uh, that you did so well was, was very interesting. Yeah, you know what, Steve, just in the, this is year 19 for us, and the relationships, not only with us and you and Turner, but with all the regional networks, has been a really important part of all of our successes over the years, sharing equipment, sharing technology. So when the charge was to have us and Turner produce all the regionals as well, I think everybody got in line to start figuring out what can we do to make it better? And how can we communicate with the regionals and their producers and directors and get them what they need in order for them to do their best show? So it was, I, I tell you, I got to backtrack just for one second and, and just throw kudos to you and Chris and Eddie, because what you guys did technically to build this out, I mean, again, once it was built, Every day was great. You just, you rolled into work and you just kept going. The, the time that it took to imagine it and then survey it and then build it and then actually start doing the shows, it was just the most incredible collaboration. And it was all made possible because what the NBA did with health and safety. So we were down there and, you know, again, once everything was up and operational, uh, we all found just this unbelievable rhythm and some of the technology Chris is talking about, that I just remember it so favorably in our line cut of how we produced and directed the game changed dramatically. And using rail cam for live coverage up and down the court, not just for replay, using these robotic wing cameras that are about, you know, 25 feet back, 15 feet up in the air for, for live coverage. And 
not doing it as a stunt, but doing it because we felt better about what the coverage looked like. So it wasn't just a matter of imagining it and, and throwing around technology and innovation. It became a really pertinent, relevant part of our documentation and how we covered the games. So the whole, just how the whole plan came together from calls like this to going, you know, spending the period of time that we all did there together. It, it was just an amazing, amazing, historic feat for all of us. Great, and, and Eddie, um, you laid out the entire compound. I can remember as I, as I talked to our events people and I told them the size compound you needed, and then it grew <laughs> and because of all the requirements for spacing. But uh, ultimately, um, um, you nailed it. And, uh, and uh, Eddie, with the Disney folks down there, Disney Wide World of Sports coordinated uh, the connection of all of, of the um, of all three venues. So, but uh, Eddie, you want to uh, uh, opine on that a little bit? Since the uh, the NBA gave us the privilege of hosting the event at our Disney Wide World of Sports, ESPN Wide World of Sports, we we took it on as being the host broadcaster not just from a broadcast perspective, but also from a hosting and also our facility. So just again, the, the kudos and shout outs really, Steve, also goes to the NBA with a lot of your staff that we work very, very closely with. And obviously Chris and I, all of us have worked very closely with Kevin Dobbs staff, uh, Carlton Myers, Micah Day, Mark Hersheimer, Paul Benedict. I can just go on forever. Everybody on the NBA side, uh, Dave Barry is again, just, just the rock and just everybody has been, was terrific in how we collaborated together. This uh, also the shout out also goes to the uh, wide world of sports folks. Uh, we put a lot on them and every, obviously we were at the, everybody was in that still trying to figure it out mode, you know, at that time when we were creating this and also sustain this operation. It's not like what we're all accustomed to doing uh, just building a show and leaving in a couple of days. It was very much staying there for three months. And like you said, Steve, we had the heat elements of summertime in Florida. So the thought process when we all started collaborating together was very Olympic style. And uh, that is how everything came. Fiber ring, IBC, all the terminology that is typically used for NBC's, uh, 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 an uh, Olympic style IBC type setup would be uh, used, utilized here. So uh, again, the shout outs all the way go around also to like NEP, Game Creek, CAT, Bexel, ABS, Fletcher, everybody, all of our partners, all of us who work together closely, CP. Communication was so was critical because obviously, as we all have learned, there's tiers of level of how everybody has to operate with your clearance of testing. So everybody had to be in communication. You just couldn't be on text or WeChat or texting and on your phone all the time. How we collaborated and communicated throughout the entire day with having radio over fiber, repeaters everywhere, and just having that communication. Also Firehouse with all their Rito nodes, the Bolero and without the entire compound with Firehouse, it was, it, was, it was built for the long-term, long haul. It wasn't short-term like we were always accustomed to doing with doing events and then we leave after a week or a couple of days. So again, I know I missed somebody and uh, like the, again, the biggest kudos really goes to the safety teams of all of our networks, all the NBA, because they were guiding us uh, to be which way we needed to go and also the spacing that was providing for all of our mobile units, people, the protocols for cleaning of equipment and uh, how we, eat, all the way down to how we uh, were served our food and everything else. We were being very safe because of the fact that it was just, it was just trying to learn our way through the very challenging waters. So I, uh, I thank everybody for uh, coming together on that.